Did you have a difficult childhood? Childhood trauma can have a negative effect on how you perceive and relate to the people and the world around you. It's characterized as anything that makes a child feel alone, vulnerable, overwhelmed, or frightened. In the grand scheme of things, the trauma you experienced as a child may have robbed you of your childhood. Curious to learn more? Here are five hidden signs your childhood was robbed. Number one, you completely avoid intimate relationships. Do you find it hard to build intimate relationships with people? Are you constantly worried about how they may act or react in certain situations that you aren't the most comfortable in? Some people may leave their home at the first chance they get to be as far away from their childhood environment as possible. However, the painful memories from it may stay with them no matter how far they go. You may become apprehensive of all types of relationships and fearful of being trapped or hurt by your partner as you had been in the past. As a result, despite having a need for intimacy, you may avoid it entirely. Number two, you've taken over the role of the helper. Are you often labeled as the helper or parent of your friend group? If you grew up in a traumatic household, you might have taken over the role of being the helper thinking that you owe it to the people around you to serve, assist, and save them. Sometimes you may even find peace in the fact that the people you care about are happy and well taken care of. But at the same time, as a result, you may end up developing a muddled sense of self-identity outside the role of the assistant. Number three, you appear happy on the outside, even when you're sad. Do you love making people laugh? Perhaps you were even known to be the class clown, the joker in the life of the party. This habit to make people laugh and joke around may have developed as a way to ease conflict and to mask the grief you've been through. However, even though you may appear to be the happiest person in the room, deep down, you may be unable to connect with your inner self. Underneath the jokes and laughter, you might feel lonely, anxious, and afraid. Number four, you often feel empty. Is it hard for you to pinpoint what you're feeling? Perhaps it feels like a void within you that nothing can fill. The appearance of emptiness can vary from person to person. Some people get a noticeable empty feeling in their stomach or chest. Others experience emotional numbness, a sense of floating around, indifference, or a sense of unfulfillment. You may experience a sense of emptiness from believing that something significant is missing from your life. And oftentimes, what's frequently absent is the access to emotions that were deemed invalid when you were a child. Number five you can't relate to those around you. Were your emotional needs met when you were a child? Emotional neglect can leave you with the impression that something is wrong with you, but you may be sure of what it is or why you feel that way. This is a typical symptom since emotional neglect can negatively impact your sense of self and your relationship with other people. Do you think your childhood was robbed? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.